<laughs> hey guys. Happy Wednesday. Look who we got here. Who's this? This is Charity. Who is this? <laughs> this is who our is this? third is member here. The third wheel. Oh, not a third wheel. Never. 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 The third musketeer. We are happy to third have musketeer. you, Charity. The third stooge. Third, third stooge. <laughs> third stooge. There you go. That's probably a <laughs> little more. It all stooges. I love it. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, <laughs> office hours. This is Charity's first office hour. It is. This is this is my new office officially. Right. Yeah. So we're doing some training with her this week, getting her up to speed, and then uh, she's off again. Where are you going, Charity? I am going to South America, a little country called Ecuador. Oh, really nice this time of the year. I won't have to deal with ninety plus degree weather and uh, humidity and all that, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I get to learn Spanish. Ooh. And I'm going to eat some Sounds yummy fancy. food. If you and don't learn it, you're probably going to be in trouble. Oh, I will be. I'll probably be in trouble anyway, <laughs> to be honest. But I'm excited. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you. These are our viewers. Viewers? <laughs> our, our massive audience. <laughs> this will be a great They're opportunity working. for, They're for working. me to try out my stand-up jokes. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's important. They're working. They'll join us later. They're working yes. diligently <laughs> to... Grow their desk, right? And, uh, build their pipeline, right? And all those yeah. things. Don't goof around at work, kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, today's question is uh, ghosting. What the hell, man? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Some right? ghosting, yeah. Right. It happens. Uh, you know, we talk with our travelers or our potential candidates, and uh, you know, sometimes it's just an initial phone call. Sometimes we start getting paperwork. Sometimes we've presented them for jobs or they've interviewed for jobs. And then they go rogue on us and we don't hear anything anymore. They disappear. Has that ever happened to anyone? They fade. I'm pretty sure that's never happened to anyone before. Yeah. No, no, I mean, happen that's happened to you guys? That's never happened to <laughs> well, me before. Wait, I didn't put that on my application. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, it happens to the best of us sometimes. Um, and why does it happen? Well, a couple of thoughts that we've had on it. Um, first of all, I want you guys to think about or we want you guys to think about like, what's the quality of the relationship that you have with that candidate? Um, do, is your relationship good enough that you can really question, you know, did this person have enough respect for our relationship that they shouldn't have ghosted you, right? Do you feel like you had a good enough relationship that they owed you the decency of a phone call back, right? Yeah, I think that's a big, big point that needs to be driven home because <laughs> What happens is you have somebody on, uh, on the phone, right? And you're having what you think is a great conversation. You get off the phone and then someone else on the outside, when they listen to that call, they see something or hear something completely different. Right. So that's what we all have to be mindful of. And I think that happens more often than we would probably want to admit that maybe that wasn't as great as what I thought it was. Right. Um, I did a lot of talking and so I felt good. They got off the phone and went, holy cow. Right. This dude is like way too much for me. I don't want to talk to him. Not that that would ever happen. No, not to but, you. No. <clears throat> right. Or were we pushy about positions? You know, did we bully them into, you know, being submitted for positions that maybe they weren't interested in? Um, or, or, or educating too quickly. You right. know, I think it's good. We always, you know, especially experienced recruiters, we want to help people understand the industry. I think we just have to be kind of careful and balance that a little bit that we don't, um, can I say piss live? Oh, I just did. Um, so that we don't piss on their parade. Um, we want to make sure that we're not destroying their vision of, you know, what travel is going to be for them and their experience. And because the thing is, they're going to get off the phone with you and talk to somebody who's going to build that back up, you know, and, and who would you rather talk to? You'd probably rather talk to somebody that is listening and at least going to, you know, attempt to help you get to the information that you need to to be successful. It doesn't necessarily have to be in that first five minutes of the phone call. Absolutely. I think that to summarize what they're saying in one succinct statement is a conversation about them or about you. Yeah. yeah. And if it's consistently about you versus them, then, yeah. you know, yeah, I guess you can't be too surprised. But, you know, it's just one of those things, I think, from my experience, uh, that you just have to learn from experience, you know. And like Adam said, you can't make assumptions about uh, how you think the conversation went, how you think you're doing. You really have to just sort of take the initiative to ask, you know, what do you think about the process so far? What do you think right. about this job? 
Really right. go for that feedback, even the negative feedback, especially right. the negative feedback. Right. You know, you want to hear the no. You want to hear why it, something doesn't work for them or what mistakes you might be making. And if, if you're not comfortable having those conversations, then, you know, you may pay for that later on in the form of a nasty backup or something ugly. Yeah. Absolutely. I think you brought up a really good point, Charity, that Thank you, you want to get that feedback at the end of that conversation, especially if we're going to go back and talk about like the recruit call. And I think this is something I think that maybe even I've heard you say before that, you know, is a was a common practice for every call that you had was, hey, so how am I doing? How do we, you know, how do we stack up to some of the other agencies yeah. that you're talking to or the other recruiters that you're dealing with? Yeah. Right. How am I doing? And I think just kind of getting and asking for that or asking for that feedback um, I think a lot of times we're a little bit scared to ask for it because we're afraid of what we Absolutely. might hear. But the reality is we should be more afraid of what we're not, uh, you know, not going to hear if we Absolutely. don't ask. Absolutely. Absolutely. The other thing that I want you guys to think about too is when it comes to ghosting, uh, you know, think about yourself and, and, and how that and how you respond, right? Like we all know that travelers or candidates ghost us. Uh, but how many times have you ghosted a candidate, right? Or how many times have you ghosted a potential uh, traveler, maybe because you felt like they were uh, maybe not qualified for a position, or maybe you didn't feel like they were a good fit for you or a good fit for your agency. And so instead of having an honest conversation with them and letting them know that, um, or letting them know that, you know, maybe your company didn't have the type of jobs that they were looking for or the area that they were looking for or their pay expectations were something that you couldn't meet that instead of returning phone calls, you just kind of felt like, well, uh, if I just stop calling them back, they'll just stop calling me eventually. Right? So it works both ways. <laughs> if you want that respect in return, you've got to give that respect to them as well. So keep that in mind uh, as well. Uh, put out into the world uh, what you want in return. Um, and don't be afraid to have those conversations and ask those tough questions. Oh, and I'm going to put love out there. In the oh. world. <laughs> <Get away. laughs> back, back. All right, everyone. Keep those questions coming. Uh, say hello and goodbye to Charity because she will be off again. <laughs> um, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Bye.